One of the key documents for any scholar or student interested in studying Singapore's past is the Colonial Office Records, which is more commonly known as the Steel Records. In this video, I will explain to you what are the Colonial Office Records and what are the different series that NUS libraries have that are crucial for researchers studying Singapore's past. So what are the CO records? CO records are documents, memos and telegrams that were sent to and fro from the Straits Settlements to Whitehall in London. These documents are archived in London. In case you're wondering, the Straits Settlements was a group of British territories consisting of Singapore, Penang and Malacca. It was established in 1826 and lasted till 1946 after the British decided to reorganise Malaya and Singapore. The content of these documents that were being sent can be something as banal as a promotion letter for a colonial officer working in the street settlements to something more exciting like a report on a raid on a Malayan Communist Party camp. What is really important is that these documents offer a glimpse of how the colonial government in Singapore and Malaya govern society that it colonised. There are six main colonial office record series for the street settlements. However, other series do exist. The CO records for the Straits Settlements cover the period from 1867 to 1965. For the Straits Settlements CO records, NUS libraries has most of them in electronic format. However, some only exist in microfilm, which you will need a microfilm reader to read. Here is a table that shows the six main series of the CO records and how to assess them. The first major series is the original correspondence. The second major series is the sessional papers and annual department reports. The third series is the government gazettes. The fourth is the acts and ordinances. The fifth is the statistics. And the last series is the annual colonial report. The original correspondence are letters, memos, telegrams that were sent back and forth from the Straits Settlements and Whitehall. These letters and memos are like modern equivalent of emails in a government institution or a big multinational company. They contain information on things that can be banal and trivial, but they also contain reports on important events and the decision-making process for key policy changes. These letters and memos also show how the colonial government functioned in private. While the original correspondence are extremely important, they are haphazardly archived and you will need to use the Kratoska Index to navigate it. I will be showing you in a separate video how to use the Kratoska Index to search for original correspondence. There are three main series for Singapore and the Straits Settlements. The first is CO273, which covers 1838-1946. The second is CO1022, which covers 1950-1960. And finally, CO1030, which covers 1940-1960. The Sessional Papers and Departmental Reports is the second major CO series. As the name suggests, they contain annual government department reports and legislative assembly papers. Unlike the original correspondence, this series is arranged by year, so it is easier to navigate. There are two main series, CO275, which covers the time period of 1850 to 1946, and CO940, which covers the period of 1946 to 1965. There are other four series of the Colonial Office records. While not as useful as the first two, do have a role to play in your research. The first series is the Government Gazettes, which are CO276, which covers the period before the Japanese occupation, and CO932, which covers the period after the Japanese occupation. The Government Gazettes are a government newsletter, and in it you will find information on when trademarks are active, when laws and ordinances are active, who are gazetted officers, and whether important colonial officers are on leave. The second series are the Acts and Ordinances. CO274 covers the period before the war, and CO975 covers the period after the war. This series contains acts of laws that were passed during a specific year, and as such, it is excellent for tracking laws and ordinances passed. 
The third series is what historians of Singapore call Blue Book of Stati Stati Statistics. CO277 covers the period before the Japanese occupation, and CO939 covers the period after the war. This series contains all the statistics that the British colonial government collected. They range from the salary of colonial civil servants to trade figures such as the amount of imported belachan. The final series is CO1071, which is the annual colonial report. These are the summarized annual department reports that you can find in CO275 or CO940. There are also other colonial office records that are useful for researchers looking at Singapore's past. You can find more information on this series by accessing the Singapore Primary Source Library Guide, which we have linked below in the description. I hope that this video has shed some light on what are the colonial office records and what role they play in studying Singapore's history. Please visit our Singapore Primary Sources Library Guide if you want to know more about the colonial office records or other primary sources. You can also email us at usalip at nus.edu.sg if you need further assistance. Please also do look out for our next video where I will show you how to search the colonial office records using the Kratoska Index.